they will actually come down. Oh! Can you see? Oh, hello! Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die, where we play 7 Days to Die modded using Valmod. Yes, we're back in Valmod. It's been a couple of days. I'm playing a lot more Ravenhurst and um, War of the Walkers at the moment because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but I haven't forgotten about our final task in Valmod where we want to build a massive trap and see what happens on Horde Night. We maybe even gonna up the actual game stage file. Um, I just have to remember to put it in the temp mode fi uh, folder, otherwise it will get overwritten by the mod launcher, but we'll see what we can do. Either way, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel, and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. We're actually down here at Bedrock, guys. This is Bedrock down there, you can see it. And this is, I don't know what I'm doing here really because I don't think we're actually gonna do anything with that after all. Um, seeing that my plans are to replace, well, we, we're gonna phase out Valmod. Yeah, that's the plan. Also, um, let me just talk about a couple of things. Today, the YouTube enabled, YouTube already enabled it for other people in other countries at some point. I don't know if it's a selected few or if it's the whole country when they do it, but they enabled something called the community tab, yeah? Now, people who do YouTube, they know the community tab. In the moment, it shows you your comments, yeah? That you receive on all your videos. Now, they have now, Two, oh, thank you very much, GeForce, for letting me know. Now, they now have uh, two community tabs. One is on the sidebar, which still shows your comments. I don't know if that's going to go or not. But the other one is when you go to your homepage and you go to your actual channel page, you do your dashboard, whatever, you, not your dashboard, your, your actual channel page, you can see like playlists and uploaded videos and all that. And then you have that community tab there. I think it was there before as well, but it showed you different things. Maybe it wasn't there. I don't know. But when you click on that now, you can now post a notification or a message. It's uh, just imagine Twitter now in it's similar to a Twitter feed in your YouTube. So if I post a message and you people uh, that, uh, and the people that already saw it today, um, uh, thank you so much for replying. It's actually really, really fun. And uh, it gives me a chance to not use it like Twitter because Genie Mac, I wouldn't like to bombard you. I mean, you, you know, YouTube notifications, yeah? yeah? When you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click that little bell because that sends you a notification that a new video has been uploaded. Now, instead of a video, I can now make a message that shows up like a notification, like a video, except it's a message. And I'm gonna use it for channel updates. Say, for example, we're gonna be late with a video. I can say, oh guys, I had to delete a video you know it will be up two hours later or oh we're now over on twitch streaming things like that i can now let everybody know so much easier without all the hassle of making a video to tell you what i'm gonna do in an hour on twitch you know so a lot of things become easier and um, now i don't you can't send messages to me on that but you can reply it's basically like a video except it's just a message in that sense that you can reply to it you can like it dislike it you can um comment on it like, like i said and then i can comment back and we can talk and that's great even for faqs i think this will be great that i can say well ask me all the questions and then you can comment and leave all your questions on that and then we can answer them it's a lot of possibilities like you know channel updates events my giveaways for example i do monthly giveaways yeah that i started doing because of the certain amount of twitch subscribers i have um, which actually pay money unlike YouTube subscribers. So I'm able to actually then say, okay, every, once a month, I'm buying a 100 euro uh, Steam wallet card and uh, you guys can, uh, you know, to participate in the draw and somebody will be drawn every month and like, you know, to get the 100 euros. So uh, in their Steam wallet. So things like that would be much easier now that I can just post it to everybody who's subscribed to participate in these things, you know, but I don't want to overdo it. So I leave a lot of that up to you guys as well. What you want to hear, what you want to know about. Let me know, you know, nudes will only be on Twitter. I already told you that, 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 that will not change. <laughs> anyway, so I just try to cover that um, because it's something new. It's something that is really exciting and um, it's a new feature that I think has a lot of potential to bring us closer and uh, as a, as a, you know, the community like you know which is great we're already very close i mean all the videos with the seven days to die it's always most of the time you see the same people and everything so it's already awesome but it just gives that extra little bit of um whatever you want to call it you know to stay stay connected anyway let me know what you think about it you know if you if you don't know what i'm talking about at all you know just let me know in the comments and i can guide you to it but otherwise um 
Let's hope it works out. So enough waffle about that. So I already made a couple of bladed weapons, I think. And oh yes, actually, oh, this is good. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's put more wood into here. Ah, that's a bit much. There we go. I think I turned that off for some reason last time. I don't know why. Or it just turned off by itself, t uh, possibly. There we go. I think it just turned off by itself because we left. There we go. Okay. Now, here we did make plate straps. There we go. There's two here. There's one here. And I think there's another one over here. Yes. Okay, so that's four. I think that's all we really had space for. It's funny how this hole looks so ginormous. And then it's just so little room to actually put these things there. And we also have to think about where we're going to put the power. I... I know we're gonna have to look at this. I love the way this looks. This is gonna, oh man, I'm telling you. Now I like the building and a few people were saying, oh, can you go back to vanilla build and can you stay in, in, in Valmod building? The thing is Valmod is always the first mod. Usually Valmod is the first mod ready to be compatible with the next version of Seven Days to Die. So I play Seven Days to Die vanilla. Then we usually see everything there pretty much very quickly. And then it turns into a pure building episode. Then Valmod has a couple of things as well that are really nice about it. And we could explore more. But generally, it's it's just turning into a building episode as well then. So what I like to do... And they all turn into building episodes eventually. So that's not the bad thing yeah, at all. It's, it's I enjoy building, yeah? But there's so many mods now that are compatible with Alpha 16. I want to go through them. There's actually a lot of mods that you you probably never heard of that I got uh, linked to me that I want to at least do one or two episodes on to cover them to see what they're about and maybe even do a stream on them to see if there would be something you guys would be interested in and um so i want to do that because once alpha 17 comes out all the mods are broken again that's it so we can't use them again so you can see how we need to focus on the mods um uh, for now so let me see if i have enough steel i don't think i have enough steel with me but we're gonna try to upgrade them anyway as many as possible I still have, I have like a thousand five hundred steel upstairs still in the chest. I just forgot to bring it down with me. And these guys are all upgraded with gasoline. We actually have to get more gasoline from upstairs. There we go. So these are all upgraded to steel. This is awesome. And I don't think we have to worry about upgrading the floor to steel. I try, but I don't think we have to. Because when things explode or whatever, cops then, you know... Yeah, sure, they cause a little bit of damage. Well, they cause a lot of damage, I suppose. But um, I think we're going to be all right. Excellent. Look at that. Sweet. And that was actually... Oh, look at that. It was exactly 35. How, how weird is that? That is so weird. That was exactly right. That is scary. That is freaky. Okay. So what we're going to have is we have these plate traps. And we're going to put... I think we said we're going to put one here. And then in the middle, it's going to be free. So let me just see that. There's three long. So one, two, three. Then the middle one will be spikes. And then one, two, three. Exactly here on the... Yes. That's it. And we have exactly six frames. Genie mine. So we have that. And then... Is that it? Let me see. No, no, no. I need to go one more. Did I think. Let me see. Hang on a second. Yeah, let's do that. Why does that not look right? That is one too far over. Oh, you're such a dim bean. Okay, and I can't pick it up. Because, yeah, I have to get my, um, yeah. Do I have one on me? No. I have to get my block with me. Oh, that's a bit of a silly thing I just did there. But I have to go up and get the gas anyway. So, let's, oh, there's one not upgraded. Caught it. Okay, let's put one here. And let's put one here. Excellent. So, this is perfectly in the middle. And do we have any spikes on us? No, we don't. Okay. But that's fine. Now, how do we connect all of them? I was thinking at some point, maybe I should connect them from underground or whatever. But then I said, no, 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 no. What I'm probably going to do is I will probably 
um, put my engine into here, or my generator, I will have two generators, one on either side. And I will probably have them on top of here. So they're nicely protected, and they should be long enough. If they're not long enough, if we can't get the cables down, we're just gonna put um, some relays here in the corners or something of the rooms because, but they should be, they should be long enough. I don't, I don't think there should be an issue at all. Now, what we're also gonna do in addition, what would be nice if we have the time before the Horde Night, is our balls on fire is uh, <laughs> don't be on fire dude well at least my leg is not broken 23 minutes 23 minutes is we can put spikes kind of halfway down on the walls because when the zombies fall the thing is if they if they have spikes here on the top then uh, maybe we just leave the spikes here i don't know because i don't want to, to soften their fall damage either i want them to go full on onto the ground so yeah, sorry, it's a lot of planning today in the episode because it's just that that's what it is now. So this is what it's going to decide what's going to happen. So we probably could put more plates here on the walls. I think that could work because they are going to fall down the walls. And if they happen to hit some plates on the way down, fair enough. I think that would, be, that work, that would work. Anyway. So let's go upstairs, let's get a little bit more steel. And oh, look at all our trees, that is awesome. They're, they're so perfect over there. Every time I do that, I'm thinking, shit, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> and let's get some gas. And oh, this is our apple trees, actually, they're all ready to go. Look at that. Oh, you have to punch them so much. And you get like three apples, what do we get? Four, maybe? Four? So if you stay here and you have the patience, you get six apples per tree, but you could just do this and get one apple. <laughs> so that's kind of... Uh, what about the knife? No, that doesn't do anything, so we have to do it all by hand. But it's a bit of a pain though, isn't it? Oh, we get no apples from this one. It's like insulted because we hit it with a knife. It's like, dude, don't cut me with a knife. What's wrong with you? That's not that's not how you pick apples. And um, we also should put down more of these. But like I said, we're not really going to stay here. It's going to be that horde night. And hopefully it's going to be epic. Hopefully we're going to be able to upgrade the game stage file and make it a really, really nice horde. Maybe they even break through, demolish everything, kill us dead and you know eat our brains so pretty awesome as well i still want to make kind of a jumping thing here and then on this side put a drawbridge on this side to jump into it that would be so awesome just as we start the horde night we come down from here and go me 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 and then whoosh, action shot oh okay every time i do anything with jumping i'm getting very nervous now okay so we have steel here like loads of it there we go look at that and we have loads of iron so also have a lot of that which we need as well so let's pick all of that up and i don't think we will need these guys actually we're gonna take them with us yeah yeah we're going to take these guys with us because it would be good to at least have some shotguns here on the top, maybe, to shoot at them as they fall down. So maybe have them not on the wall, but on the inner wall, on this one, like kind of halfway down, and then they shoot at them as they fall down. That would be awesome. Oh, man, that would be so awesome. Can you imagine most of them dying before they hit the ground? That, that would be epic. Yeah, that definitely would be a good thing. So, let's get more of that. There we go. Come on. Don't be shy. Just leave the favorites on and everything will be fine. You didn't put the favorites on. You turned them off again, didn't you? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we have those to make more spikes if we need to we gas that's what we need gas 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 yeah let's pick up a couple all right let's go the safe route 
Now, all we want to really do now is we want to actually take a generator with us as well. We might, we might as well take it already with us. It's hiding underneath here. Oh, there it is. Can we pick it up? No. So our... Where's our land claim block? Well, we're going to take this one. I queued up another one to craft just in case so that we have one for up here as well. And um, this one here, I think we have one in the cave or something. So let's take a couple of engines as well. Um, I would like to take all of them if I can. Oh, nice. We actually were able to. That's awesome. And now let's go downstairs. Yeah, we, we do the engine in a little while. It, it's, it's fine. We, we come. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Let's do it the other way around. Let's put the land claim block down here. So we can pick up everything. Let me see here. Okay. Excellent. And now we should be able to pick up the these guys here. Yes. Okay, so let's take everything out. Engine. Let's take it out. F ooh, fuel. Oh, there is no fuel. Excellent. So we can just take this. Uh, we have no room, guys. We have no room. It's sorry about that. I'm a little bit disorganized. I just spent a lot of time editing um, the South Park episode that you probably saw yesterday because um, I, I love playing the game, absolutely. But what happens is that I leave a lot of the combat in and all that instead of taking that out. And uh, a lot of you guys are saying, like, you don't need to show the combat. It's just repetitive stuff. It doesn't even progress the story, really. Like, you know, it's a lot of the combats. So just take it out so what i did is i edited the two episodes i recorded um 40 minutes each down to a single 20 minute episode so i cut out here and there things you know to to make the, the walking take the walking out from from a to b which was nonsense and hopefully you like it so it spent a long time editing this down but i i hope it worked out i hope you guys enjoy it so let's take this one and yes we're gonna need to take the gas as well which is gonna come with us once we pick that up so we have two of these generators which is awesome and yes we got all the gas might as well go out here can't wait for my leg to be healed 15 minutes <laughs> your mother of testicles I hate you. It's only until hard night. It's only until hard night. I mean, just break my fucking leg at this point. Just break it so I can just make a really expensive splint and just heal it. Just, 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 just stop being splinted. Just let me cut it off and like hop, you know, at this point. <sighs> okay, now. <sighs> what? What? Why can't I upgrade that again? I needed to do that with the hammer? Was that, was that it? Oh my God, okay. So let's upgrade them all to fire. I don't know if that is wise to upgrade them all to fire as I'm walking through them here. Come on. Ugh. There we go. But that is going to be good. Now, I was told that the fire doesn't last very long and that that layer gets quickly destroyed. But you still have the steel layer underneath. And if we have a hammer with us with gas on us we can quickly repair them again especially here and they get set on fire again so we should have a very bright night of uh, zombies there we go look at that for beautiful nice okay there was one we forgot uh, which is this guy here nice and that is it excellent Okay, so let's upgrade this because this is what is going to hold the zombies back. Let's do it from the inside. And this has to be upgraded as well. I just left the gap there so we can still work outside. 
and only really um, close it when we get close to the hot night. There we go. Look at that. That is beautiful. I like that. We have so much iron. I think it's nearly all gone. We had over 1,500. We had 1,600 or something iron, which is like 160 blocks only to be upgraded. So let's see. Look at that. We're down to 820. How? Wow. Okay, so, and we need to upgrade these guys. And actually, these ones are more important. On the inside, it's not as important. It's the one directly is adjacent to the um, to the spikes because if a spike breaks, that is where they will come through. That is awesome. And this is just very good if you have spitters or anything that slowly start damaging the top um, blocks. And that is as safe as you can get. I mean, look at that. There we go, nice. I love it. This is absolutely brilliant. And we still have 32 blocks that we can upgrade. <sighs> okay, so what did we come down here for? We have the gas. And now we want to put one on this side, I think. Yeah, and one on this side. So the one on this side, whoa. I'll put on the wall here, which hopefully will be enough. I, I really, really hope so. Or we just put it here. We'll put it here in the here. Let's put them both on the pole here, and hopefully that's enough. We'll see. Let's let's do it. So let's put this one here. Let's open it up, and we're going to put a big engine in, and. Two small ones, three small ones, and a medium. And that's six. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, and another small one. Because we have this big one here, so this should be about the same. So it's 376 watt. So refuel it. Excellent. And now, let's see if we can power it. Ah, this is the one that's offset, so we want to do the other side as well. So, let's do the other side with that. I mean, that's exactly in the middle, really, so... Okay. It works! Nice! That is nice! That is so cool, and there will be no electric fences because they, it's just the it's just the plates. With coffee, nearly threw my coffee over. It's only the plates because the rest is gonna be the spikes and the fire. And um, can we make electric weapons actually? Like a club? No. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we do the fences like sideways against it i'm not really nah, i'm not gonna get into the fences now i find the fences rather awkward because the fences themselves can be destroyed very easily by being hit on or puked on and if you have a whole system set up just destroying one fence can destroy the whole kind of side of something and it's i, I, don't, I don't i'm not a big fan of them only in the beginning the very very if you start fences in the first horde night up to the second if you if you do like a toothy kind of defense then I say, yeah, sure, put a fence underground and then put another fence above ground and then connect it. But we didn't really design this that way because on a toothy, <laughs> you would have a lip here and then you do it above the lip and under the ground and then nobody could hit it. So what we did pretty much in vanilla and um, there we go, we can connect this in here. So anyway, this is connected. This is awesome. So let's turn it on and see if they spin. Yeah. Awesome, look at that. And we have the guy spinning. That is really, really good. Now what we could do is we could put a relay on the wall here and then put two put three more on all the walls all the way around. So three, six, twelve more plates all the way around. And then have them all connected from the relays on either side of the wall 
to the external plates. That, that would work as well. We might actually do that because I like the idea. As I'm talking about it, I really like that idea. So all we need is more plated weapons. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have here. The round, where's the roundy ones? Okay, they're upstairs. Anyway, that is really, really cool. I think this is pretty much it for the episode. So this episode is not like the Raven one. It's a bit more planning, a bit more, you know, trying to get into the plan of the building and everything. So it's not as action packed or anything. Well, it's not really action packed at all, but um, it has the parts that we're interested in. So look at this. If they fall down there, I think they're actually pretty much dead when they fall down there. I don't think there's a question about that. And then can you imagine have another three? How many could we get to a wall? Hang on a second. So they're gonna come from here. They could. F we don't want to do the corner block. We want to leave the corner block free. So how many could we do? So we could do one, two, three, and then we could theoretically put another one here. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, and now that will go here. So what we're better off doing is doing what we did downstairs. So here, one, two, sorry, one, two, three, leave a block free, and then one, two, three leave a block free and then here one two three so there you go we have one play trap two three on all sides and then on this one will we get three in as well one two three free one two three free one two three free one two three we get actually four and exactly four with the right uh, distance that is awesome so that is three six and four, so, oh, that, that's 14. Um, okay. Oh, we have to try that out. Anyway, outro time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. Look at that. Oh, man. I want them on that side. Oh, there's another screamer. Guys, over here. Over here. Come here. They're gonna have to come here. Oh, maybe I have to go a bit lower. Somebody told me I have to go lower. Because if I go lower, they will actually come down. Oh. Can you see? Oh, hello. That is nice. Nice of you to drop in. Look at them. Crispy McCracker. That is pretty awesome. Anybody from this side here? Do you want to do another scream? There you go. Good zombie. Thank you. Anybody else coming from that scream? Hello? <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. It's just her. Is she getting back up? Hello? Oh, there she is. Oh, we got him in air. Did you see that? That was awesome. Oh, this hard night is going to be so much fun. Assuming they jumped down. They should. You could see it. They did come down. That is so cool.